Okay, so we're going to be building a mail wrapper in this video to allow you to send email a lot easier throughout your application. And for this video, we're going to be working with PHP Mailer. But of course, you can use any solution uh, you want and you can customize the classes that we're going to be building to work with uh, whichever solution that you go with. However, in this case, like I said, we're going to be using PHP Mailer. You can see here that we're connecting uh, via SMTP to a Gmail uh, server, and we're going to be sending email that way. So down here then is basically what we're going to be able to do once we have done this. So somewhere in our application, we're going to create a new instance of this Mailer class. And what we're doing, in, uh, what we're doing here is we're passing in uh, the PHP mailer instance to this as a dependency and then from that anywhere in your application you can then say mail send you can choose the view which we'll take a look at in a moment you can choose any variables that you want to send through to that view which is essentially just going to be your email and then we have this closure here which allows us to define things like who the email is to the subject and then you can go ahead and add anything else in here if you wanted to add email attachments you could build in this functionality so this is what we're going to be building we're going to head over to um, the code and start building this up and uh, you'll be able to use a syntax like this to go ahead and send emails so before we get started building our wrapper you're going to need to make sure that you are connecting uh, to an SMTP server or using local mail, which I probably wouldn't recommend. And as long as you have this set up, we can go ahead and pass this mailer instance into our class that we're going to build in a moment, and then you can send emails. So do the standard PHP mailer stuff, and then we can go ahead and use this to build a wrapper. You can go ahead and copy this if you want, and then obviously make sure that you are sending a test email. You can find all of the information about PHP mailer on the, on the documentation. Uh, if you get stuck. So we're now at the point where we are basically have the ability to send email and we're going to build this wrapper. But let's take a look at a few other things before we get started. So first of all, uh, I am PSR4 auto loading uh, everything within this app project directory, which doesn't exist at the moment because I've deleted it. If you don't want to PSR4 auto load, if you don't know what this is, uh, we do have a video on this, so you can go ahead and look it up. However, if you don't want to do this, it doesn't matter. It just means you're not going to be able to namespace your application uh, under your root project uh, name. But don't worry too much about that. You can just omit the namespaces if you want to. Uh, the second thing we're going to look at is the fact that in this app folder within our root directory, we have this views, fo uh, views folder. And then in here we have this email folder and then in here we have this welcome.php file. And this is going, going to be the email that we're going to send. We're essentially dealing with views here because we're, we're treating this like it's a real application. And views are often stored in a separate directory and you can categorize these. So in this case, under app, which is going to be sort of the base for all of our project, we have this views folder which contains email, which obviously everything in here is going to be emails. And you can obviously add these in subdirectories if you want. But this is the file that we're going to be sending as an email. You can see here at the moment it says welcome to the site and then echo name. So this is what we want to replace using our new wrapper. So once we've got this all set up, if you aren't using PSR4, don't worry too much about it. We can start and, uh, and build this class. So what we want to do then is inside of our app directory, we're going to create that project folder. Uh, and again, this can be put anywhere in your application. It doesn't have to be in this structure. Uh, but I would highly recommend sort of using a mini framework and um, building this into it. And inside of here, we're going to create a new folder called mail. And that's just going to hold our two classes that we're going to be building in this video. So the first class is going to be called mailer.php. So let's go ahead and create this. And let's go ahead and start to write the code out for this. So the idea of this is we instantiate it we pass in our mailer that we have on our index page. Obviously this would be put somewhere else in your application. We pass in that mailer to this as a dependency, and then we can use that to build up a message and, and send that message eventually. So I'm going to namespace this because I'm using PSR4 auto loading. So I'm going to name it under uh, project mail since this is project and then under this mail directory. And I'm going to go ahead and create this mailer class. 
So the first thing we're going to deal with is pulling in this uh, this mailer, this PHP mailer instance as a dependency. So we have a constructor within this class, and that's going to take in a mailer. And you can, of course, uh, type hint this as well if you want. So you could go ahead and type hint it. I'm not going to because uh, I'm going to assume that this might be something other than a PHP mailer. Um, of course, you could use things like um, interfaces here, which would make this a lot easier. Uh, but for now, we'll just keep things as, as simple as possible. So what we want then is at the top of here, a mailer property. And all we're doing here is we're just setting this mailer to the mailer that we pass in, and that's it. So let's go ahead and instantiate mailer. So down here, we're going to go ahead and say mail. So notice the difference between mailer and mail. And we're going to say new project mail mailer. And then we pass in our PHP mailer instance. That's it. So we now have this instantiated. We can do whatever we want here. So the methods within this mailer class are basically just going to be send. Well, that's going to be the only method. And to send an email, we're going to be able to give us the ability to pass in a template, any data we want to be sent to that template. And by template, I mean the view that we saw in here earlier. So we can just open that up ready. And we're also going to have a callback. And this callback is going to head, go ahead and deal with uh, things like who the email is to, any attachments you want to add. And that's what we saw initially when we were looking at the index.php file where you had that uh, closure in there, which allowed you to do that in a nice uh, structured way. So let's go ahead and create this send method. And like I said, we need to pass in a template, data, and we have our callback. So the reason I've called this template is because this works really well with something like Twig if you're working with a templating language. What we're actually going to be doing in this video is we're going to be requiring in our template in a slightly ugly way. We're going to be using OB start uh, requiring the file, the template file, which is this welcome.php file. And then we're going to use uh, functions like OB get clean and OB end clean. Uh, you might not want to do this. You might want to also pass in some kind of templating language as a dependency, and then you can pull in uh, whichever view you want to with that. But we'll leave it as it is now, and you can go ahead and implement that later if it makes sense. So what we want to do then is we want to go ahead and um, just test how our view is going to look when we, when we uh, pass it into this send uh, method. So the first thing that I'm going to do then is extract the data that we pass in. Uh, what we can do is, of course, do something like mail, send, and then we can start to build this up. So remember, we have uh, the first argument is the uh, path to the view or the template. So in this case, um, it's going to be app views email welcome.php. And then we have an array of data we want to send in. So we're going to say, name Alex and of course this could be elsewhere you could have it as a variable up here and you could just pass that variable in then lastly we have our closure in here and what we're going to have here is an argument here we're just going to call it m just for short and this will allow us to do things like m2 and whatever we want to do but this uh, functionality is not going to be defined within our mailer. It's going to be defined within another class that we're going to pull in when we want to send data. And that might sound a little bit confusing at first, but don't worry too much. So uh, we want to go ahead and extract the data that we want to use in our view. Now, this is only really necessary with the method that we're using now to require in the template uh, using OB start, OB get clean, and OB end clean. Uh, but if you were using a templating language like Twig, you'd just be able to pass the data straight through. You wouldn't have to extract it like this. So it's worthwhile looking into a solution using Twig or something. So now we want to require in our template. And to do this, we're going to use OB start. We're going to require in the template. This is basically just pulling this template in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable or redefine this variable, or reset a value on this variable to OB get clean 
And all this is doing, once we've done OB end clean, is it's requiring this in, setting it to this uh, variable here without actually outputting it to the page. If you were to comment this out and comment this out, when we go ahead and look at our page, you can see it's actually pulling in that template now. And you've noticed already it's replacing that variable that we have inside of that welcome email. So this name variable here, all extract is doing is taking this name, this uh, this key here, and it's extracting it here. And then we have that name variable available. So not an ideal solution. Uh, again, I know I've said this about three times, but working with something like Twig would be uh, a really good solution here. So when we have OB start, get clean and end clean, you can see that nothing is happening here. But if we were to say, go ahead and echo template, we see the following. So that's why we're doing this. So we're not going to echo template because the template is to set in the body of the email. But what we haven't done now is pull in our message class, which we're going to build next to actually handle setting who the emails to the body, etc. So let's go ahead and do this now. So if we go ahead and create a variable up here called message, and this is going to be a new message. And into this, we're going to pass in this mailer. So we have all of the functionality available from PHP mailer uh, within this message class, which is going to be useful for doing things like setting who the emails to the uh, any attachments, the body, anything like that. So obviously this is now going to fail because we don't have a message.php class. So let's create this now inside of this mail directory. So let's save this as message.php. And let's go ahead and again, give this a namespace. So the namespace is going to be project mail. And the class is message. And again, remember we were passing in the mailer as a dependency to this message. So all we need to do in here is create another constructor. And we pass in our mailer. We have our mailer property at the top. And we set that, oops, to the mailer that we pass in. So now we have uh, control over what we can do within this closure. And remember, that's everything we do in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say something like M2, and then we're going to choose an email address, for example, forum at codecourse.com. And we can do some things like M add attachment if we really wanted to. We're not going to cover this in this video, because if you read up in the PHP mailer docs, you'll find out how to do that. But this is how we do this. So let's now then finish off this me method class with this two uh, method. So we have two. And then we have an address passed in. And of course, you can pass in a name as well, which PHP mailer lets you do. But all we're going to do here is we're going to say this mailer add address, which is PHP mailer functionality. And we just pass that address in. So now what's going to happen is when we refresh, we don't see any errors because we've created this message class, which is being used here. And this functionality here, because we have this M uh, argument in here, we're allowing ourselves to go ahead and use this functionality. So it does seem a little bit complicated at first, but if you don't quite understand this, you can just go ahead and, uh, and go through it in your own time and look at how this is working. Uh, and um, I'm sure it'll become clear soon enough. So let's finish this off with any other functionality we want to add to this wrapper uh, that comes from PHP Mailer. So for example, I might want to be able to define a subject, which is obviously really important. So in here, we need to pass in our subject. And then all we do is exactly the same thing using PHP Mailer, which is our Mailer instance here. We just say something like subject equals subject. That's it. And last but not least, we'll say body. So public function body. And we pass in the body here, which is eventually going to be our template. And then we say this mailer body body. So you can extend this class, well not extend it, but add to this class 
to go ahead and add any more methods you want to do to deal with that. So body, we're not going to be using within this uh, closure just here, but we are going to be using subject. So let's define a subject just here. And we'll just say, welcome to the site, like that. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. Let's refresh so we get no errors. So everything seems like it's working. Um, but we need to set the body. Now we know what the body is. It's the template. So we can just do this down here and we can directly do this from message. So we can say message body template. So remember making use of this body we have here. And that is pretty much it. The only thing we haven't done is we haven't called with our callback this message object. And what's going to happen is um, this isn't actually going to go ahead and tie in everything we've done within our callback to this message class. I should have probably mentioned that before. But we're going to use call user func or call user function. We're going to say from that callback, we want to apply this to message. So what you'll see now is when we refresh, obviously we don't see anything, but you could go ahead and just test this out if you were having any problems. So you could perhaps do a var dump on the address here and you'll see that you get the address out, et cetera, et cetera. So it's being called. Obviously without this, it's not going to go ahead and call them methods. So we won't see that. So let's get rid of this var dump and we are now ready to send the email. So because everything has been set within message to our mailer instance, we've gone ahead and called this. We've obviously got our template. We've set our body here. We can just go ahead and send the message and to send a message with PHP mailer. All we do is we say this mailer, which is remember just PHP mailer send. Okay. And you can add some um, checks here to see if there was a problem uh, sending the message. You could throw an exception from this. You can, do whatever you want, really. So uh, now let's return back to index.php. We've got everything set up. Remember, in our welcome email, we're outputting name here. We already saw that when we uh, examined the contents of that template. We're specifying who this is to. I happen to have my mail client open just here. And we are setting a subject. And you can add any functionality you want inside of here. And remember, we are setting the body in here from that template. So let's go ahead and refresh and we should see that uh, delay a little bit. And then there we go. We have a new email. Welcome to the site, Alex. You can obviously include any variables you want inside of the subject as well. You've got full flexibility here. So that was just a very basic look at creating some kind of mail wrapper, which makes it really easy to send email throughout your application. You've defined this elsewhere in your application. You have this as some kind of uh, part of your application, maybe within a container. And then here you can just call this whenever you want to send emails. You've got all of your email contents within views, which is nice and tidy. You separated everything out and uh, there we go. You've got a brand new way to send email.